dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, dear all, let me introduce myself. I am Miklós Mohai, Head of Music Theory Department of Liszt Ferenc Academy of Music in Budapest. On the occasion of this opening ceremony of the second Harma Seminar event, we are in this wonderful grand concert hall of the beautiful building of our university, which was built between 1903 and 1907 in eclectic style. This Harma is a festival occasion of music theory and analysis. I would like to express my thanks to the board of directors, to our colleagues in Hungary and abroad, the participants, and to the organization. Special thanks to the technical staff for preparing and streaming. By the assist assistance of everybody can take place this seminar event. Let me open our conference. I call upon Professor Andrea Wieg, Rector of Liszt Ferenc Academy of Music, Budapest, to speak her greeting to the conference. Good morning and welcome everyone to the 2021 virtual live edition of the Harmony and Music Analysis International Seminar. After a year of uncertainty, I am pleased that the three-day-long seminar have been organized and that we are able to give home to such an inspiring event, even if only virtually. The second edition of this event will host more than 100 participants from all around the world. I am happy that after the very successful first edition of this event held in Brussels in 2018, we can continue to support this wonderful seminar created by Professor Salvatore Giovanni. Music theory has always been one of the most important stepping stones in the whole of music education. It is as important as ever to give young musicians a strong and up-to-date foundation in music theory. At the same time, such studies should reflect on the fact that students receive a more and more international education as a result of exchange programs and go on to have international careers. Therefore, having a conversation between music higher education institutions around the world is key to develop a strong international way of learning music. This means sharing and understanding the differences between different cultures of music learning. A seminar like the one we are starting now is an excellent way to have a meaningful and fruitful conversation and to share ideas and best practices. I believe that the core concept of the seminar, namely the idea to share pedagogical experiences and learning methods, will truly help modernize, internationalize and create equal accesses to music theory courses everywhere. Furthermore, by focusing on digital music education as well, the topics discussed during the coming days will help dealing with the challenges all music higher education institutions have been facing for the last year. I am also pleased that a strategic partnership project called Harma Plus have been created, supported and co-financed by Erasmus Plus program and led by the Conservatoire Royal de Brussels. I welcome our partners in Brussels, Gdansk, Leipzig, Tallinn and the DAC. This partnership is a fantastic result of, of the whole Harma initiative. I hope you will enjoy the next three days of learning and sharing experiences in this one-line format. And I wish 
that the seminar will become a lasting memory both personally and professionally. Dear colleagues, it is both a pleasure and an honor for the Liszt Ferenc Academy of Music in Budapest to host the second Harma meeting. We extend our warm gratitude to Professor Salvatore Giovanni, who dreamed up and created the genre and form of this meeting. He has put a lot of time, energy and work into making sure that three years ago the first meeting and now the second could take place. Today's conference should have been held last year here in Budapest as a face-to-face -face meeting. But due to the pandemic, we were unfortunately obliged to change our plans. We sincerely regret we can only meet in virtual space, since this will truly disrupt all those more personal relationships and interactions which in addition to the official program, might further assist in getting to know each other through more informal exchanges and conversations. I nonetheless remain confident that the fact that we can only interact online now will not hinder or undermine the success of the conference. I do hope that the lectures and workshops will enable us or to think further and deeper, and that they will have a positive impact on our future work. If so, we will be able to say at the end of our conference that we have spent very meaningful time together. Music theory has been defined by many and in many ways over the past millennia. <clears throat> Every era has searched for and found the definition most appropriate for expressing worldview, aesthetics, philosophy, and musical practice. If we glance through these quickly, we can conclude that they are all share a common thought. The Greek theoria, contemplation, theory, and science, and praxis, action, and practice, are constantly influencing each other. Although each era differs with regard to whether and to what degree theory or practice is stronger, but without doubt neither can exclude the other. Theory serves practice, and practice is and may always be the basis for new theories. Eras also differ in, in what they examine as music theory. Music theory, as we think of it today, is defined by one of the most significant books in the profession, the Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians, I quote. Theory is now understood as principally the study of structure of music. This can be divided into melody, rhythm, counterpoint, harmony and form, but these elements are difficult to distinguish from each other and to separate from the context. At a more fundamental level, theory includes considerations of tonal systems, scales, tuning, intervals, consonance, dissonance, durational proportions, and the acoustics of pitch systems. A body of theory exists also about other aspects of music, music such as composition, performance, orchestration, ornamentation, improvisation, and electronic sound performance. Quote ends. In every pedagogical practice, the problems and requirements for ear training are always closely connected to the questions inherent to music theory. From this point of view, theory and practice rely on each other. In our university education, they are each other's peers. We strive for music theory and solfege not only to help each other, so they both become self-serving, but to raise the quality of instrumental vocal performing arts even higher by, education, uh, by educating musicians 
who understand music in its internal context. The upcoming music teacher should be prepared to teach children and young people to form a future audience that is capable to receive, love, understand and appreciate artistic music. Therefore, we deal with, with musical reading and writing, intonation, sight reading, musical dictation, practical use of relative solmization, inner hearing, sense of rhythm and musical memory. Finally, let me say a few words about our university. In 1875, after many years of preparation, our Liszt Academy of Music was founded by personally Ferenc Liszt. Education proper started in the same year, on the 14th of November. At the beginning, the Academy had five professors, including Ferenc Liszt, and 39 students. The academic faculty taught piano, composition, music theory, and music history. Only four years later, due to the growing number of professors and students, the academy moved into its new building where it is located today. From the 1890s, the instruments of symphony orchestra training started and later on the church music department was established too. Many times during the following <coughs> decades, the structure of education changed, but it has never been in doubt that the Liszt Academy was always the premier musical university of Hungary, where worldwide famous musicians taught <coughs> or were educated. Liszt, Erkel, Tomán, Hubai, Mihalovich, Popper, Bartók, Kodály, Dohnányi, Weiner, Harmat, Zaturecki. Later, Solti, Fricsai, Doráti, Cifra, Anda, Földes, Székely, Gertler, Starker, and still later, Ligeti, Kurtág, Ötvös, Vásári, Pauk, Marton, Perényi, Kocsis, Ranki and Schiff. The list is endless. Their names, careers and fame also contributed to the fact that the Academy of Music has now become a world-famous institution. In addition to a high level of education, the building further hosts a very substantial cultural life. Our concert halls are the most important ones in Budapest. At all times, the professor and staff dedicate their work to our educational and cultural activities and thus honor to fame of the remarkable his history of this academy. I wish you all a successful and meaningful exchange of views, as well as important, useful and multiple human and professional contacts for the Harma conference ahead. Thank you. And now I would like to call upon Salvatore Giovanni, Belgium, Conservatoire Royal de Bruxelles, founder and president of the Harma Seminar event, music theory faculty, international relations coordinator, to speak his opening speech. Please, Salvatore. Thank you very much, Professor Miklov. Uh, dear presidents, dear uh, Professor Miklov, dear uh, participants, the colleagues, the students, the friends. First of all, I would like to thank all the team of the Franz Liszt Academy for their two years work organization for the second edition of the Armour Seminar event. Of course, we would have preferred to welcome you physically, physically speaking in the prestigious Front List Academy of Music of Budapest. But I'm sure that all of you, as well as participants, students, sponsors, and members of the committee will appreciate how we are pleased to meet you again, even if it's an online edition. I express again my sincere gratitude to the Front List Academy team for their great hospitality 
their perfect organization and their truly friendship since two years now. I remember my first uh, meet with uh, the vice uh, rector, uh, Julia Fekete, which I, uh, I really also expressed my gratitude for his help and also to Bella Erdos, uh, international and cultural manager in the Francis Academy for their precious help in this second edition. On behalf of the higher music education institution that have been involved in this preparation or who have lent their support, I would like also to express how delighted we are to see you all of you. Despite of the COVID crisis, this second edition will bring together nearly 200 participants from 39 conservatories from Europe, USA, Asia, Middle East. All these institutions, they provide music theory courses in higher education institutions. Indeed, it has been five years since I began to question the true role of our music theory courses in higher music education institutions, and two years now since I really wanted to bring all of you together in a unique place. The first time we met together was in Brussels in 2018 and it was a really great experience. Traveling in Europe by job shadowing music theory courses with the help of the Erasmus Plus program, I was positively surprised to discover so many different methods, so many different notations, and even in the same institution. Sometimes colleagues from the, from the same institution do not discuss each other's. Some colleagues also, maybe in the ARMA now, they don't know that another colleague is um, attending this uh, ARMA edition. So maybe you should check the name of the participants. As a result, and after the big European survey that we organized after the first ARMA, it was an evidence. And I was really convinced that continuing the adventure together will highlight our music theory departments. I truly hope that the next three years will contribute to reach its objectives, not only in uh, communicative aspects, such as presentations of training sessions, but also through various non negligible aspects, such as continuing and implementing the Europeanization strategy of our mobility projects, but also to promote and increase the internationalization, the attractiveness, the equal access, and also to modernize our higher music education institutions. And finally, to develop, to modernize, and to promote our curriculum in music theory departments. So what's HAMA for the new participants if you are attending this edition? The HAMA seminar event think first also to be a European and international reflection on the organization, pedagogical and structural practices, you know, harmony writing, music theory, music analysis courses within the higher music education institutions. So we are not involved in the university or musicology. Various data relating to the organization of music theory departments established in our conservatoire and our schuler participating in the seminar will thus be collated. The professor Miklo just told me before that a new project, a partnership uh, project in the Erasmus Plus program, Key Action 203, which the name is ARMA Plus, is the main goal. So this second edition, is the uh, second occasion for delegates to renew or open the ties that exist between our institutions and to forge new contacts. A meeting such as ARMA, which involves only, not only the high music ed education institution faculties, but also some faculties that are not really involved in music theory, and they, of course, really welcome in this seminar. Discourse, whether or not taught in a department such as music theory or within a master's degrees in advanced writing, counterpoint of fugue or music theory, 
are often the object of pedagogical reflections that not really seem concerned with providing a framework for this reflection of uh, ARMA by means of a cross-disciplinary study at a European and international level. There is a true willingness to digitize pedagogical data, both at a student and international exchange program, such as Erasmus Plus program. So Conservatoire and Oshulo cannot deny the considerable impacts of the different pedagogical practices which will be used to train them and which they will face early in their studies and their new curriculum if they go abroad. A certain pedagogical adaptability must thus lead students and educators, if not to question their methodology, to reopen their pedagogical perspective and to teach their students using older methodology or at least share them with them. After the concert uh, of the, this first uh, session, you will have also a presentation of the new project ARMA Plus, the partnership in the Erasmus Plus program. And you will be very delighted to, to see that ARMA is continuing in this project with a bigger project partnership with uh, the partners, which I will present you later. Before I conclude my presentation, uh, we inform you that the working language of the seminar shall be English, and the committee is also at your disposal to answer to your question to the Zoom chat and also to the email arma2021 underscore arma.eu.com. The website ARMA will provide you all the connections uh, information for the unique Zoom platform, which will be used for all the seminars. A special chat link is also provided. You can also see it in the website. You can enter to these virtual bars to meet your colleagues and start a spontaneous uh, discussion. Concerning the speaking time, um, we are extremely careful about the timing. So uh, I really invite the speakers to respect the 20 minutes of speaking. Uh, to let the participants ask them a question for 10 minutes of question and answers uh, parts. Last but not least, I would like really to sincere thanks uh, to the event sponsor and the, organiza or the organizational committee, Olivia Wanon de Oliveira, head librarian in the Conservatoire Royal de Bruxelles, Edwin Clapeut, full-time faculty in music analysis, Margot Sladen, Music History Faculty in our Conservatory, Conservatoire Royal de Bruxelles. Thomas Solak, Associate Professor and Music Theory Head of Educational Technology in Copenhagen. And the team of Budapest, Bogi Terra, Associate Professor DLA, Music Theory Departments, and Erdos Bella, International and Cultural Manager in the Francis Academy which they do a very, very great uh, work and help for this second edition. So now uh, it's in live direct in live in, uh, in uh, YouTube. So I would like to, uh, to invite you to have a pleasant uh, ARMA seminar for these three days. I invite you to, to follow now the concerts uh, from the Francis Academy in the YouTube platform. And we meet after the concert for my speech about the ARMA Plus project, Erasmus Plus uh, program. On behalf of the organizational committee, I wish you an excellent ARMA seminar, and we wish you all to see you in presence, maybe in the next ARMA. I wish you all my best for this seminar. Thank you. Thank you, Salvatore. <clears throat> and now I would like to invite you to a short concert performed by our students of our academy. Chenge Dosha, violin, Hagiwara Riku, violin cello, and Yui Yamane, piano. The program is Piano Trio in E flat major, opus one, number one, by Ludwig van Beethoven.